Tackle small bites or snacks could be the difference between weight loss and weight gain. Yeah, believe it or not, cutting 200 calories from your diet a day can be easier than you think. We're going to show you and help us do that. We have called on who else? Maria Vial. <laughs> she is a certified holistic nutritionist who is here to share why it is important to be conscious of calories. Now, just to clarify, are you going to suggest that everybody starts counting calories and counting every calorie they eat? Because I hate that. Yeah, and I am not, I'm not a proponent of that. I okay. think that that makes eating really hectic and, and mind dizzying. This is just to kind of bring awareness to those little bites you might take that aren't really actually filling you up. They're just around or it might be habit that add up if you, you know, if you look at a week's worth of it. It's Love that it. mindless munching that, mm -hmm. that's kind of sabotaging you, right, without you mm -hmm. even noticing. So let's start over by you, because okay. you brought very typical things that mm -hmm. people will have, and what you're going to show us is the amount that it takes to get the calorie number in front of it. Right, and so common thing, non-fat vanilla latte, right? Yeah. It seems okay. like it's a healthy choice, no fat. And just in, you know, having one of those, and some a people do two, very small. <laughs> That's a you know quite a bit 200 calories. You know what, that, where the calories come from? There is it the, the milk? syrup, the vanilla, mm -hmm. the milk. There's a lot of sugar in skim yep. milk. Yeah, um, no. and, and not really something that will necessarily fill you up. It's probably something you're just used to. Yeah. In front of it, you have um, my These favorite my and, and Tiffany's. I knew, this is her break this. my heart. You know we did I didn't even know if I would get this approved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, round one. Round one. Go back to the job. Go back to the creamers, okay? Yeah. Because um, Tiffany and I both take three of those. Little, I do two. Oh, it's three. Oh, so that was your mouth. She's okay. trying to show off. No, it's okay. two now. I cut back. It was well, five you know, for a while. And that's even that's even something like three of them is 105. So even if you took oh. away one or two, you're already cutting out calories. It's about 35 calories for each of these. And yeah. we like the little vanilla ones. Is yeah, that how vanilla? Much? That's three vanilla. Three of those has 105 yeah. calories. Mm -hmm. I know. I cut down to two because it's 70. Yeah, and it's <laughs> under 100. It makes I already you know. Smarter, I put it right? in my yep. Fit Pal yep. or whatever. Yep. Okay. Smart. All right. What's next? Uh, the next one, and this kind of goes. Uh, this really hits home with a lot of moms when yeah. you're making the kids breakfast in the morning, or you're a stay-at-home mom and you're you're cutting off the crust of your kids' lunch. And how many uh, how many of them you know do we eat? It's like, oh, I'm hungry, but I don't have time to make lunch for me. Yeah, so I'm going to eat the crust of the uh, of sandwich. Crust is the most dense part of mm -hmm. the bread. That doesn't make it bad, but when you're adding in an extra sandwich crust, not even, you know, depending on what the sandwich is made out of, you can go all the way up to 200 calories in just the crust of bread. If there's stuff in it. Well, even if there isn't, there's about 150 Jeez. calories in just two pieces of bread crust. What about a pizza crust that's stuffed with cheese? <laughs> that's a uh, much healthier choice. <laughs> <laughs> that's but why that I didn't has, bring it on here. But seriously, that probably has like two to three hundred. Yeah, absolutely. And right? we think that we're like, oh, this is just a little bite here, a little yeah. bite there. And if you think about it, it's not really filling you up. It's just there. And you we, had your latte yeah, in the morning, yeah. you're eating the crust you're when you're better making off that. having like a, a full meal versus some of these snacks because it will keep on snacking throughout Evil. the day. Animal, Animal crackers. Animal crackers. I mean, this is just a handful. If you think about packing your kids lunch, you're stealing a little bit here and there. Yep. Yeah. It, it just adds up without necessarily filling your belly. All right. Yeah. What, what is this category? This, this is, is lunch salties. time, right? Mm -hmm. This is where, you know, the crouton on the salads. This is not, not much at all, right? Yeah. And how many calories are in just Maybe that many? 100 calories in wow. just this much. It hurts my heart. Heart. Yep. Chips, this is kind of daunting. In the in a little bag of, you know, the fun bag of chips, they call it fun, but it's 180 calories of fun. That's not, not really that bag, much. No, and how many of us really just eat not that me. much? No. Salt. Nobody. Nobody. And one soda with sugar, the regular, has about 150 calories. Right, exactly. And how many people, you know, that's, this is small nowadays. You know, most mm -hmm. people, you're getting at least a 12 ounce. So, Again, yeah. things that aren't really filling you up that are just adding to your daily caloric intake. This one right here blows my so mind. It's, Mine too. It's like barely a handful. I think it it's might be. It's not even a handful. It's yeah. not even. No, it's like. Yeah, there you go. It's Look a handful. Hand. Oh, yeah, there. Just hold yeah it there. and think of you Keep know you're it. at you're at work and you go into the candy dish and you're like oh here you go just grab a scoop of it. That is. It's you know, that adds up. That right there that's, is how many? That's 140 calories. Yeah, that is not much. And two Oreos? Two Oreos. Oh, yeah. I know, I'm really not trying to break your guy's heart here. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you two know, Two Oreos, these, 100 calories. 100, yeah, 106 calories. That's I mean, a lot. you think, like, I'm not doing anything. 
Like, yeah, you're well, right. You're not getting full. You're yeah. not getting satisfied. Right, right. Exactly. All right, now, what if you just do a, a happy hour, one glass? Yeah, but wait, one this glass is of beer, one glass of wine. This is um, the liquid diet. If right. you're drinking your dinner, but you know, think about you're going to happy hour, you're grabbing a drink. This is just one. If you just get one happy hour drink for a glass of wine, and this is only five ounces, this is, you know, and this is a conservative pour, at yes. least. Yeah. I mean, some of us go up to there, but you know, that's 120 <laughs> calories. <laughs> yeah. That bottle of wine. Yeah. And this does This is your gym. This is, I should put your yeah. hour. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Equals the beer. One hour yeah, the gym. exactly. 100 to 150 calories. And so a lighter beer will obviously have less, and you know, some of our darker beers will have more. And then think about it. You're munching at the bar. I was going to say, there's no way if there's pretzels or snacks out that you're not going to have exactly. some. Exactly. Yeah. Not and just that much. I mean, and These that cups again. are so small. I don't know no. if you can tell on TV know, how small they are, but am, right? it's like they are so small. Hand. Yeah, small. yeah. So look, at, look at that. It, if you think about that, like you're out there, you're drinking. Of course, there's going to be salty things. That's what you're going to munch on, and then you're probably going to go home and be like, okay, now I want to have dinner. No, I'm hungry. And what about just like a half cup of ice cream? Because that's yeah. what a serving size of ice cream is. I've looked at the the package. This is exactly. so small. Exactly. That's a hundred calories. That's so small. That's like two bites. I know, and that's you know that's self control. Like I'm just gonna yes. scoop this much out and leave it in the freezer. I always yeah. think I'm good by just eating out of the tub straight well, from course, the freezer right. because then I'll just have a couple bites. But you know it's more than that. Exactly. And so if you Better look at all of this, scoop. even if you cut out just two of these, so say okay. all of this was part of your diet, you cut out just two of those. That can be over 200 calories a day, which over a week is almost an entire day's worth of calories. Yeah. So in one week you can cut out a day's worth the calories and you have the potential of losing weight that way. I mean mm -hmm. those small little steps of removing some of these empty calories can really add up in the long run. So it doesn't have to be all of it, just make a step or two towards your goals. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean some of these might be people's favorites, so right. they're not going to look at so the, let go of those. Happy the hour, so the but happy you know, <laughs> the crust and the croutons, these little things. Yeah, those really are things can you can live without. Yeah, and I think it's those small steps that make it doable. People yeah. are like, I can actually, you know what, those croutons really don't do much for me. I'm going to knock that out. Well, and for a lot of moms, you kind of made a point of it with the, the crust, but it's, it's mindless eating, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of on-the-go stuff. So if you kind of make it more conscious, right. you can make a big difference, especially over even just the course of a week. So to get more helpful tips from Maria and to find out more, to feel great and check out her newsletter, you can visit her website. It's got lots of great information, including recipes. Go to mariavile.com. Thanks, Thanks to see you. Good to see you guys, Thank too. Thank you.